Hey, what's happening, Costa Mesa? I'm Dane Bora. Today is Thursday, September 29th, and this is your Costa Mesa Minute and your high school football preview for week five. Another 3-0 week last week now has my record at 12-0. And last week in the Newport Harbor game, did you see how close I was to hitting that one right on the number? And speaking of the Sailors, how about Cole Kinder? Talk about making a statement. With one of the best backs in the area on the other sideline, the Newport senior rushed for 327 yards and three scores. This week, Costa Mesa High School is on a bye, so it's just Estancia and Newport Harbor, and both are on the road. So let's start with the team that is leaving the county. Coach Jeff Brinkley and his sailors travel north to Manhattan Beach to face a 2-2 two two Miracosta squad that is ranked number nine in Division VI. And their two losses are to good teams in Lucerna and El Segundo. Defensively, the Sailors switched their focus from the ground attack last week to the air this week, as the Mustang senior quarterback David Arredondo was all CIF last year. This will be another big test for Newport, who is in the middle of an extremely tough four-game stretch of their schedule. And I'm going to give the advantage to the home team in this one. Maricosta takes a close one, 24 to 20. And across town, at Estancia, things don't get any easier for Mike Vargas and the one and three Eagles, who are on the road at Sunny Hills in Buena Park. The Eagles enter on a three-game skid, while the Lancers come in at three and one. Second year head coach Pete Caravitas has Sunny Hills playing some of their best football in years, and there is no doubt about how they will attack the Estancia defense. Quarterback Brendan Stanfill has completed just five passes all year, while the ground attack is averaging nearly 400 yards per game. For the Eagles, they are hoping to get back on track in their final non-league action. But I think the Lancers will have a bit too much for the Eagles. Sunny Hills wears down Estancia 34 to 14. So for the first time all season, none of the three local teams will play home games. That doesn't mean you can't support the troops. Road trip, anybody? And that's your high school football preview in a Costa Mesa minute or two. Remember, if it happens on the gridiron in Costa Mesa, it's news to us. I'm Dane Bora. I'll see you tomorrow.